But uh, let's talk about Fanny Willis. All right, so we got to get into Miss Fanny Willis and her alleged promiscuity. What's going on with this? Because I have no idea who this lady is. You got me looking up Fanny Mae. Hold on. <laughs> so, according to U.S. Today, their headline is Trump, Georgia, co-defendant alleges D.A. Fanny Willis had improper l- relationship with prosecutor. So, the gist of what they're saying is the person that they had established to handle the prosecution for Trump. Mm-hmm. It's somebody who she's had a prior relationship with. Oh, no. And so they're trying to, I guess, try to find... Scandal. Yeah, like a scandal here, trying to basically put this out <laughs> to... from What I would believe would be just to... to what they're saying here is just to disqualify Willis uh, and the entire Fulton County District Attorney Office, a special prosecutor, Nathan Wade, because the two have been engaged in improper relationship, uh, class and time, personal relationship during the pendency of this case. So I don't know. Is that supposed to be like a conflict of interest? Like, I don't get why the prosecutor and the DA who would be on the same side if there was an alleged relationship. Are they trying to say, like, he got preferential treatment to get it? Because that, that would be the only thing that I would think that. But that wouldn't be something that That would be Trump, the only conflict of interest. As he says, the court is filing and the alleged contained in them. Uh, first report Monday by the Atlanta Constitutional Journal. The motion offered no specific proof of the romantic ties between Willis and Wade. The motion claims that the alleged based on sources close to the two as well as divorce filings. So uh, they're basically just trying to say, like, you know, she a freaky gal. From <laughs> what I'm, from gal- but this is not the first time. Freaky girl, girl. This is not the first time that this is something like this came out. So I don't know if you heard before. There was somebody from, y- from YSL. He was somebody who had her as a defendant. No, mm-hmm. excuse me, not as def- he was a defendant, and she was his uh, prosecutor. No, I mean um, his uh, public lawyer? defender. Okay, she was his public defender, mm-hmm. and he said in the interview that they had a relationship. So this isn't the first time that this has come out where she has gotten busy with people in the field that she worked with. Again, this is all alleged. All so this is something that she just does on a regular basis. Uh, apparently, she might be a freak. Fanny, you a freaky girl? She's it's a Fanny. very freaky girl. Hey. girl. Get it from a mama. Take it to the judge. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. But no, that's crazy because they try to use that to try to make it seem like she got information from dude from YSL to help her in this case. So that was something that she's li- like, this has been following her for a while. Like I said, she's she a decent-looking black lady. I can see how she, how she out here, you know, getting busy, like she thinking she Molly. <laughs> you know she thinks she Molly. She she definitely does not think she Molly. But um, she definitely thinks she Molly. Have you been following the, the YSL court case? I've been seeing a lot of different stuff. I've been seeing the different drip from Thug. I've been seeing niggas on the Thug stand. Thug been blowing up. He been looking. He been no, looking. Not not blowing up like big. like, he been, like yeah, big. He, he been he been having that shit on all these last few last few days he been putting that shit on um so this i think his name is tick but he's been on trial lately and um uh, no his name is slug so his name is slug and the <laughs> his his um what you call it? What is it called when he talks? Accent? No. Testimony? Yes, his testimony has been absolutely insane. It's been all over the place. So in the beginning, his testimony was like he kind of seemed like he um was still on the fence about snitching when in <laughs> the in the beginning of his testimony. In, in the midst of already testifying. In the yeah. So it was a lot of like I don't recalls and this and that and um the the lawyer's line of questioning seemed to be falling through until recently. So, like, around, like, day 15, when he was getting questioned, he started coming around. And um, let me let me play some of the, the most recent court. I'm not a lawyer, but I'm going to give you the high So, shout, shout out to I'm Not a Lawyer on TikTok. She's a black woman. She's not a lawyer, but she's been covering this case beautifully. 
trial. It was a short day, but Slug was still on the stand and Thug's attorney, Brian Steele, was doing the cross-examination. Brian Steele starts off with Overt Act Number 156, which is this picture, and the state claims that in this picture, Young Thug is throwing up the Bloods gang sign. But Slug says it's the Push and P sign for a song which had come out during that time. And we all push remember and that Push and P is for Push and Positivity. He had a record out at the time called Push and P. So he's making a P in reference to the song. Do you know whether that song came out with a video? Yes. Okay. And then in open court, the entire Push and P music video is played for the jury. In the courtroom. Push your feet. About being mad at Thug for referencing him in some of his lyrics. Slug had grown a bit of a reputation for robbing women, and people in the neighborhood were teasing him for it. So, this case has literally been all over the goddamn place. Like, Slug, the way he's testifying is comical. I was hearing some people, so I was out, you know, we, we are in the city where this is occurring at. Yeah, so because this talking. stuff was occurring a couple blocks away. What I've been hearing, uh, you know, on the, on the street is is that the DA and the the whole prosecution really don't know how a RICO works. So they've been putting all this focus on lyrics and all this other stuff. When a RICO, from most people understanding, is I give you money and you do acts that further our initiative. In regards to gang movement, intimidation, um, and just making sure people know we are a presence. And that's where, like, at least the information that's been coming out has been a focus on everything but what actually was the RICO. I think they're having a hard time because of the witnesses. They're differentiating um, YSL, the music group, between YSL, the gang, and it's hard to tell whether Young Thug was head of YSL the music group or YSL the gang. And that's what they're trying to prove. But the witnesses don't seem like they're... The evidence on, is already there, though. The evidence isn't... It, it, the, but the witnesses are not on board with tr proving this. No, the prosecution is not showing a clear... No. Uh, they're not again, doing a good job this is from the information that's been coming out so this could be all misinformation but from the information that's coming out they haven't been showing a good job of hey here's this individual paying out and uh giving money out to do particular actions which again the evidence is all there the rental car ain't changed you know er everything that's in in that situation is there the people who have lost their lives from those particular actions who rep y'all particular, you know, gang, it's all there. So we're not, no one, no one's out here making up anything. No one's tripping. It's just, it seems like the prosecution isn't, isn't really knowing what they're doing. Cause this isn't something that's really familiar. Like a state Rico isn't something that really is well known. Usually like it's a federal Rico. Yeah. Usually the feds are the one handling Rico charges. So, um, on day 15 is when he's on the stand and he finally starts answering questions. Lawyer, I want to play a little bit of it for you. Trontavia Stevens, a.k.a. Slug, a.k.a. Tick, is back on the stand for day 15 of the YSL RICO trial, and things are going noticeably different than they were last week. Attorney Love gets right into it with her questioning of Slug this morning. She first asks him about rebranding Rock Crew to Young Slime Life. And did you testify last week? When you spoke, we needed to get away from the gang activity that Rock Crew was known for. And so we changed our name to Young Slime Life. So apparently YSL used to be named Rock Crew. And because of the nefarious activity that was, acti that was attached to their name, they rebranded to YSL. Yes. Who is the we that you were speaking about when you spoke to the jury? This is when he changes his tune. People who I grew up with, um, my age group. Those people were not. Were those people founders of Young Slime Up? No. Okay. So 
Wiseman with the founders of Young Slime Life need to rebrand from rock group. So that Using the Wii word wasn't even like intentionally. That's just the direction I was saying. And oh, then shit. Attorney Love asked <laughs> oh, Slug, who in the courtroom are members of the YSL gang? And child. Let me ask you this. Which of these defendants in this courtroom right now are members of YSL Young Slime Life, the gang? Right here. All of them. All of, them. all of them. Would you please call them by name? By name? Quay, Rod, Other Quay, Thug. Other Quay, Thug. It's me. And yeah. You said Thug. So did you call Jeffrey Williams Thug? Yeah. And Yak. Is that the. She said, so do you call Jeffrey Williams Thug? And he said, yeah. That was one of the things that they were trying to prove too that he goes by young thug and that's what people know him as damn that nigga was talking bro. <laughs> that was real yeah, talking that shit was crazy that he was, was talking like, everyone them him 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 that's him. wild crazy called him out by name called a street name out in the courtroom Sick. so and then um she she after he calls out all their street names she's like so this street name is this legal name, this street name is this legal name to clarify. And he goes, yes, 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 yes. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Just let y'all know, man, the niggas that you be, you be in the rooms with, sacking up with and all that, they'll trade on you in an instant. They will. They'll trade on you in an instant, man. So If they freedom is up at stake. They're going to let you know it's up and it's stuck, man. Ah, that was wild. That was insanity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he looked crazy, too. His hair this, all gray. Nah, this whole trial, like, if, like, if y'all can watch there. it, follow I'm Not a Lawyer on TikTok because she's been doing a fantastic job at, like, breaking all of this down. If you don't want to sit through court TV and actually watch all of this, then uh, I'm Not a Lawyer is a great a great place to go to follow the YSL trial. Yo, sitting Shout up, out to her. Sitting up there with a Frederick Douglass Afro snitching, is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. He got the salt and pepper afro. Sir, you don't even, you're not even young and you snitching on these young niggas. You don't even have that much of your life left over compared to the rest of them. And you snitching? Why? That was a that was a wild that was a wild snitch move right there. But um Slug, his life generally is is sad. I think he said he joined the gang at like 16. 18 years old um he never graduated from high school he's just been in the gangs for his entire adult life and has known nothing else oh, no, has I never mean, had like a regular nine to five or nothing like that like no i mean and then they most of these guys have been disenfranchised and uh the community and system have let them down so i mean that's why they get into these groups and in these these gangs because they have they it have gives a them family. structure yeah it gives them structure gives them you know yeah. support all right, so you want to get into this Ari Lennox situation? Yes. All right, you want to play the video? Yeah, go ahead. 